Okay, this model is also showing you sagittal plane, or mid-sagittal plane, and showing you in de more detail some of the structures of the head and neck. Here's a brain, spinal cord. Inside the brain we have two glands, the pituitary gland and the pineal gland at the back. Pituitary is near the front, pineal is near the back. Both of these glands are part of the endocrine system. Down here we can see our nasal cavity, oral cavity, pharynx is this space, larynx is all of this space here. Here's your voice box, so this is all larynx in here. And then on this guy you can even see the esophagus and the trachea. Notice the spinal cord goes all the way down here. You can see the tonsils as well. Here's one here. Here's one here, the one at the back of the soft palate. These are all part of lymphatic immune system. Okay, now I just want to review some of those same organs on this model here. Larynx, respiratory system, thyroid gland, endocrine system, trachea, respiratory system, superior vena cava, aorta, cardiovascular system, right and left lung, respiratory system, covered in visceral pleura, located in the pleural cavity. Heart, cardiovascular system, covered in visceral pericardium, located in the pericardial cavity. Lungs, which are cut in frontal section. Here's a better view of the heart. Front part off. Right atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle, left atrium, pulmonary trunk, all of those part of cardiovascular system. This is the mediastinum here between the lungs. Take this off, you can see the esophagus here, aorta. Esophagus is digestive system, aorta is circulatory, and this is all mediastinum, so these would be located in the mediastinum. This cavity right here is the pericardial cavity. And then of course this is the pleural cavity. Moving down into the abdominal cavity, we have liver, gallbladder, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, all part of the digestive system, and covered in visceral peritoneum. Take some of these structures off. You can see the pancreas, part of the endocrine system, and the spleen part of the lymphatic immune system. Pancreas is also part of the digestive system as well. So you'd need to put both systems for that. Looking at the deep structures of the abdominal cavity, kidney, kidney, part of urinary system, adrenal gland, adrenal gland, part of the endocrine system, ureter, part of the urinary system, urinary bladder, Again, part of the urinary system. Here's your rectum. This is part of the digestive system. Vena cava and aorta, part of the circulatory system. And again, all of those things, except the urinary bladder and the rectum, are located in the abdominal cavity. Remember, the cavity wall of the abdomen is covered in parietal uh, peri peritoneum. Parietal peritoneum. The rectum and the urinary bladder are located in the pelvic cavity. And we'll look more at the pelvic cavity in a minute. Okay, I just wanted to show you a couple of things on this guy because since you can take his lungs all the way out, you can see something on here that you can't see on some of the other models. So let's briefly just go over some of these. That's his thyroid gland. That's his trachea. Here's a lung cut in a coronal plane. And notice on this side, the whole lung is missing. So remember, the surface of the lung itself right here is covered with visceral pleura. 
The body wall in all cases is called parietal and since this is the cavity where the lung would set, this layer right on top of here would be called your parietal pleura. Down here the wall would be covered in parietal peritoneum. So parietal peritoneum, parietal pleura. Now on top of the lung, parietal pleura here. On top of the lung itself, that would be visceral pleura. Here's your pericardial cavity. You can see a little depression where the heart was sitting. And then here's your mediastinum with your esophagus and your aorta and your bronchus. This cavity right here would be the orbital cavity, by the way. Okay, I think that's it. Hopefully this gives you something to start with. Okay, I'm back because I forgot something. I wanted to look at, show you guys this model real quick. Notice it has all the same things that we've talked about already that I've shown you on other models. With one exception, on this model you can actually see the lymph nodes and lymph vessels. Here's an artery and a vein. But these little spider looking things are lymph nodes. And then the little legs of the spiders are your lymph vessels. A lot of the larger torsos will have lymph nodes and vessels on one side in the leg generally. You're going to have lymph nodes and lymph vessels all over the whole body. But for simplicity, they're just showing you on one leg. But you will have these all over the body. It just gets a little overwhelming to show them everywhere. So that's just something that I didn't show you before. I think we covered everything else. Okay, before we move on to the male and female pelvis, I wanted to show you the heart, or the close-up model of the heart. There's one thing on this model that you can't see anywhere else, and that's this structure right here that looks kind of like a butterfly. This is the thymus gland. The thymus gland is part of the lymphatic immune system, also considered part of the endocrine system because it is a gland. <sighs> if we take that off, you can see the heart in detail. Here's your aorta, superior vena cava, pulmonary trunk. Right atrium, that space there. Right ventricle. Left ventricle. Left atrium, the space in here. Also, on this model, we can see the pulmonary veins here, and you'd have those on the other side as well, which I kind of pulled off, I guess. Let's put this back on. So, right here, you can see pulmonary veins on both sides. Those are the red ones, right here, and right here, going into that left atrium. Now, just because they're uh, vein, red doesn't mean they're arteries. Okay, in this case, these are veins. Veins just carry blood back to the heart. Pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood, which is why they look up, look like they're red on a model right there. Okay, now we're gonna look at the pelvis.